Good morning, football fans. Appreciate you guys for joining, checking out the show and the pod. I can't wait to get into this today's show. Did an interview with linebacker Curtis Bolton. But before that... Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're at uh, in our great time zones in the U.S. and overseas. Uh, I will be doing these as well in Australia, uh, different aspects over the season, so you guys will get to see me from all over the spots. Um, Got to tell you about Saturday. I was really excited to have a chance to have rookie linebacker, former Sooners linebacker, Curtis Bolton on the show. Uh, got to talk to him in depth about different things at training camp, his transition from college, different things. Uh, you know, I asked him, you know, what his biggest uh, thing that he surprised him at training camp, you know, and his first thing is just how they operate. Uh, you know, they've got one of the better traditions, and you get to see the players come out riding the kids' bikes uh, onto their first practice, and you can see Curtis is actually pretty big for the bike that he was with this little girl that he was with, but she seemed like she had a great time and was very happy to see that. You know, in, the, in that aspect, I asked him, you know, why did he, is it such a big difference? And he says, because it's really just a business. And when he wants to see guys and talk to them and get the business side of it done, you know, if he has a question, he can ask the coach right then. It doesn't matter what time it is. If he wants to get more reps in, get more practice in, whatever, that's on him. You know, it's a business. He's getting paid to do this now, and the NCAA isn't restricting him on, hey, you got to go to school for this amount of time. You can't talk to coaches over this amount of time. You have to be doing all this stuff. And what's cool for him is he gets to do that now. He's a no BS type of guy. Uh, and another question I asked him, you know, why Green Bay? And because he's Green Bay, he said he just sat down and had, you know, six to ten offers, actual good offers before even the draft was over on guys that have reached out to him. But he doesn't want to go to a spot like New York or L.A. or Dallas where he could have so much stuff to do away from, you know, the job where he could get distracted or whatnot. He really just wanted a place where he could go focus on football, focus on the business, and try to make a 53-man roster. And that's what he's done, you know, and he's – went to Green Bay where it's a no BS place. I mean, it's – and he seems real happy just talking to him on the phone, and he seems happy just to do that. He wanted me to thank Sooner Nation and look out for Sooner Nation. That's why he kind of looked out for me and doing the podcast with me, and I appreciate him that so much. I can't even tell you. Uh, it's kind of hard to get a hold of players, especially during training camp, because let's be real, this is two-a-days and – getting after it a day in and day out. And the guys are trying to make a 53-man roster. I mean, you've seen several guys cut from camp already, you know, veterans at that. Speaking of veterans, he I asked him, you know, who's he kind of gotten to know the most and, you know, gravitated to. And he said it was Blake Martinez. He talks to him consistently a lot on and off practice field. Uh, what's he do on this and – you know, how does he deal with certain things and how he would do it, deal with it. And he said he's been a constant professional, talking to him, t- kind of taking him under his wing. They've really bonded, it seemed like. And they've worked on a lot of stuff together, you know, during their off time, which I can't really tell you their off time. They're pulling 12, 14, 16-hour days, they said, which is kind of awesome, you know, for a kid that looks at himself as an underdog and has really blossomed to a really good athlete. Uh, give you an idea. His first three years at Oklahoma, he didn't get to play a lot. Uh, he's always been athletic, but he's also playing behind guys who, like Jordan Evans, who is starting for the Cincinnati Bengals. Uh, Kenneth Murray, who's was playing right next to him, will be a butt gets finals left next year. Um, that that's the type of guys he's playing, you know, around. And now that he finally got a chance to show him show out last year, he had 142 tackles, 12 tackles for loss, four and a half sacks. Uh, touchdown, uh, like a 60-yard touchdown, return touchdown from from a fumble, 
you can really see the athletic ability come out in this game. He's a four five guy. Uh, his main competition you can see is Ty Summers at practice, and you know Ty was actually drafted. Uh, they say he was a better athlete, but they're both four five guys. Curtis has a, a huge vertical, you know, great hands. So he's really pushed himself in camp already. He's got four or five sacks already in practice. He's got two or three strip sacks in practice. Uh, he's got a few pass deflections, you know, talking to the beat writer at Green Bay. He's really looked very well in practice through his first week at ch- actual training camp before, you know, after rookie training camp. He seems to really enjoy himself. And that's something that you love to see and hear from a player that is all business. I mean, this kid's a Southern Cal guy. So the first question I asked him, you know, how's the weather? Um, you know, it obviously being different than Southern Cal, he's like, well, not right now. It's still pretty hot, you know. He says, but he does know it gets around 40 below in Green Bay, which is ridiculous to me, to him. He's, But he's ready for that snow. You know, he's he said he's – something he's actually very excited about and he's just happy to they can put on pads and start hitting and that's pretty cool I guess he was out with a little sickness the other day but he went right back at it the next day and has been killing it guys uh, it's been fun to you know reach out to Curtis and I'm glad that he was able to talk to me during a very you know stressful time as well as a very busy time for him Guys, you need to look at him on Twitter, CB underscore Savage18 on Twitter. That's where you'll find Curtis's Twitter handle. He's probably not going to hit you up a whole lot. He is a busy cat. I appreciate his time. Guys, it's something I'm going to be doing over the next uh, 6 to 12 months is talking to other players. Uh, I do have another wide receiver who's already reached out to me who I'm going to do an interview prior to the NFL draft next year. Now, this kid is also expected to be a top wide receiver draft pick in the first round probably. So, again, I appreciate all the time. I appreciate you guys checking in on me. Uh, I'll put all my stuff out. And remember, as always, let's go, let's go, let's go.